Hey, beauts. I am so back. I am so back. I am so happy to be back. <laughs> I'm just ready to get back to vlogging and all the stuff Darnesia loves to do. But I'm going to LA in like two months. So I need to get ready for all that type of stuff. So my first stop is going to Kroger. I want some water and some fruit. I'm really trying to focus on getting greens and fruit and water in every day. I don't know how, but I really let myself get dehydrated, y'all. That's how bad I've been eating. I haven't even been able to keep like my lips from being chapped. And you know that's it's, it's bad when you get to that point. So I have... So if I'm, I'm about to go to Kroger and get some water and some fruit for today. And I'm going to pick up one of my Mother's Day gifts for myself. My fault, y'all. RP be hollering for no reason. RP is my car, by the way. I'm going all over the place, but I'm on my way to get one of my Mother's Day gifts. I, for myself, I'm kind of in a funk. Like, I think I might be getting Mother's Day gifts from other people, but I'm not entirely sure. Mother's Day has not been a good experience for me for in the past or currently so i kind of just want to get myself a mother's day gift so i don't feel bad for myself and i'm going to get what you call our charcuterie board i don't know if i'm saying it right but there's this girl from detroit who sells charcuterie boards i think that's how you pronounce it and it's basically like a sample platter of different meats different cheeses different fruits and little like snack foods or whatever like pickles and almonds and cashews and like um sugar ginger like stuff like that crystallized ginger and stuff like that so i'm going to pick up one of those i've been wanting one for quite some time i'm gonna get it myself and i'm on my way to get that that's gonna be one of my mother's day gifts to myself um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm really excited about it because it's low carb. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, it's low carb. Like, I think she does have like a couple of little cracker things in there, but for the most part, it's low carb. And whatever the case is, I can snack on this throughout the day. I've been really trying to like detox and not eat as much heavy food, drink more water, drink, drink more teas, um, stuff like that. Um, eat my fruits and veggies like I'm supposed to, you know, especially my greens, stuff like that. So one of the things that I came to a conclusion of is that I, I haven't been feeling physically well. Like not in a sick sense. I was sick too. I was sick. But more like I haven't been fueling my body and taking care of my body in the right way. I can do the, um, you know skincare routines and my blessed baths and stuff like that but what you consume has a lot to do with how you feel so if i've been consuming a lot of bullshit naturally i'm gonna feel like bullshit it's just that simple and please ignore my nails one i can't get this one off and two i popped them all off because i had an appointment yesterday but i did not feel good i had a hair appointment yesterday and y'all i literally set an alarm to go get my hair did woke up and realized bitch you still got a head full of braids your appointment in three hours. Like nothing in my mind was like, Darnisa, you gotta take down your hair. <laughs> so I missed my hair appointment. I missed my nail appointment. And I was really about to just let myself be sad on Mother's Day weekend. Cause I'm looking a hot mess, but no, I am not going to do that. It's okay. It's okay. I rescheduled my nail appointment. I gotta wait for my cousin to calm down so she don't be mad and I can reschedule my hair appointment. And we're gonna move forward from there. But I'm about to walk into Kroger, get me some fruit, get me some water. Um, I might get some more tea too, because I'm really trying to stick to my teas, like my herbal teas and stuff like that. And I'll be right back. So I got my water and I got some strawberry. I completely forgot to get some tea. <laughs> and I'm going to go get da, 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 my mother's day gift my first one i'm not gonna tell y'all what the first or the second one and what the third ones might be yet i want to show y'all i just want to show y'all <laughs> what's going on i know i'm dehydrated because i'm drinking cold water i don't even drink cold water but you know i'm just trying to not only put myself back into like i said all the the darnesia i was before all of this happened but try to teach myself how to you know get back up when I'm knocked down, cause you're gonna get knocked down. That's just like, you know, whether it's mental, whether it's emotional, whether it's physical, whatever's going wrong with you, honor your body first and foremost, and just get back up. You know, don't let life keep you down. You know, 
I think I read something or I saw a video that said, you know, did you have a bad day or did you let one bad moment turn into a bad day? And nine times out of 10, that's what it be. We let one moment ruin our whole week, our whole month, our whole lives. And it ain't that deep. You know, yes, feel your feelings, go through your emotions, do what you gotta do, but get back to you, you know? I realized that I was using business, my business as a means of distraction. You know, I wasn't, I was just trying to keep moving so I didn't have to feel certain things. So I wouldn't have to worry about certain things. So I wouldn't have to think about certain things. When at the end of the day, those things have to be dealt with, you know, and those things have to be healed, those feelings have to be felt, you know, things have to be processed. And I've done a good job with that for the most part, but I think in this one case, you know, something really got to me that I, it kind of knocked me down. And instead of just beating myself up about it, it's just like, you know, okay, what have I learned from this situation? How can I be a better person? because this happened or you know whatever the case may be so i'm looking forward to getting back to the better parts of me especially my working out and eating healthy like i really sat back and thought the other day like darnesia i was really the type of person that would not eat a bag of chips honey i was fasting like nobody's business making salads like nobody's business low carb like a mug and was losing weight did it beautifully like was in the gym gym ratting it like <laughs> i ain't miss that stuff i'm not gonna lie i do miss that and i want to get back not i want to i'm going to get back to all of that and i'm going to vlog it like because i remember when i was losing all my weight i had gained a bunch of weight um in college and after both my kids after both my sons and i lost all that weight beautifully so you know i want to show that diet and uh, workout lifestyle with y'all you know it's not even about just you know losing weight and being skinny I got a bad body you know <laughs> that's not the question that ain't the problem even if I gain a little weight Darnesia is good but I want to feel good I don't want to just look good you know what's that word like a pig in a bow or whatever the fuck <laughs> I don't think that's the right phrase I need to use but I don't want to just look good I want to feel good and I know I really think that no I know for me at least eating healthier and being healthier is a huge part of my mental health for me it works that way if I start eating like shit I'm going to continuously feel like shit I'm going to feel drained I'm not gonna have any energy my skin is gonna start getting dull eyes is gonna start looking dull lips gonna be all chapped and I'm gonna be all dehydrated just mm -mm, ain't none of that cute ain't none of that cute like i realized who i am what i wanted what my purpose is now more than ever now more than ever i think a lot of moms single moms especially get kind of caught up in making sure they saving and paying their bills and doing this to the kids and doing that for the kids and taking care of everybody else that we do forget about ourselves sometimes and i'm not gonna lie i feel like i kind of forgot about myself but that's okay because we're in better spirits and we're moving forward and God is good. And all the time. Okay. <laughs> I see y'all when I get my um Mother's Day girl. I still don't know how to say it. Charcuterie. <laughs> Charcuterie board. I don't think I'm saying that with it saying it right. This is the company. This is her name. RB Charcuterie. I think I said it right that time, charcuterie. I see some peanuts in here, um, crackers in here, little peach rings in here. Um, oh, and these are soft macarons are in here. Some chocolate is in here. I love the detail. Look at her little thing. So cute. And I'm going to try to show y'all without like fucking it up. So. Look at this. Look at that. Don't that look amazing, y'all? I'm literally going to snack on this. Like, I was saying all day, like, this look like a couple days worth. It feeds up to five, if I'm not mistaken. And oh, my God. Oh, my God. Y'all, I'm going to snack on a little bit of this. Okay, so I'm going to take out. That's the only thing I wish I would have done was been a little more specific on what I wanted. 
because this was a nice little penny. I think this box was $85. The olives, I don't think I'm gonna get jiggy with, but I'm gonna, you know, give them a chance. I think there's this little spread right here, this vegetable spread, veggie spread. Hmm. This whole little, oh, that was so good. This whole little board making me so happy. Oh, mm. there are grapes in here. It's like every time, the more I look at it, the more I realize <laughs> there's more stuff in here. There are. I think these are just for decoration. They're dry blood oranges. So I'm gonna go ahead and take those out. These little crackers in here. I'm trying to figure out exactly what this spread is. I think this is so cute. She got her little business card in here. If anybody wanna ever buy me one of these forever, for any reason, by all means, do not hesitate. <laughs> The cucumbers in here. I like this spread. I don't know what it is, but I like it. These are the cucumbers. I like how she, the little details, like the little ridges on here. Mm. I like this. I really like this. Like this with some wine in the movie, honey. I was so glad I was able to snag one of these because I wanted it a couple of days ago. But she was booked. And then I happened to look up, like, she posted, like, 10 minutes ago, like, oh, I'm only going to do a couple of these, you know, on some first come, first serve stuff. And I was like, oh, I want one. <laughs> I need one because I've been looking at it. And I really just wanted to treat myself. These are good. I already have one of those. We all know that. What else? This little orange situation, she made it into a rose. I think that's so cute. This is really good, y'all. And I washed my hands. I want y'all to think I just jumped in the house and came here and started eating this. I washed my hands. So about this meat, it looks like it's deli cut. Like it's not like straight out of a lunch. Take it little thing. One of these little crackers I got. Some of this spread. Mm. I think that's the thing I like about this the most. There's so many different things. Oh, and I got some of these. Well, I, saw, I already did that to y'all, but there's so many different things in here and you can combine so many flavors. It's like something new in every bite. I like that. I like this. I think this is the honey roasted. I think that's the honey roasted turkey. She got radishes in here. It's like literally every time I look, <laughs> it's something else in here. Oh, this is so good. Oh, shit. I'm still eating that. Damn straight. This smells good. Shoot, this might be the honey turkey one. I don't know, y'all. It's good. I know that. But this little spread. I'm not going to lie. This spread is a little strong, but I don't care. I wish it was a little more sweet than savory. Like, I would have rather her put, like, more strawberries and like grapes in here, blueberries versus the olives and the pickles and the peppers and stuff. But that's just because my preference. So the next time I get one, I'm definitely going to tell her like or ask her, you know, if I can have some more sweeter than savory options. But this is good now. This, I ain't going to lie. And I keep telling y'all, but I'm not even exaggerating. Every time... <laughs> I look up, I find something else in this box. I don't think I'm a big dog for this one. I don't know if I could do it. I think this might be Brie. Okay, you know what? I'm going to try that on camera for y'all. Because I ain't going to lie. One of the things I actually like about this board is 
like I said, I was going to try some of the things I didn't think I was going to like in this board because I don't want to be the typical black person. And I feel like black people are accustomed to certain things and only eating certain foods. This is really a great way to like kind of sneak in some different stuff to try, you know, some different stuff to see what you like. So I think I'm going to take one of these. I don't know what kind of bread this is, but it is so cute. I think it got a little, a little bit of a glaze on it. Yeah, it got a little glaze on it. I'm going to break it in half. I'm nervous, y'all. I ain't going to lie because I've never had a piece of cheese like this before. And I love this box, y'all. This is a good quality box. I don't know what I'm going to keep this for afterwards, but I'm keeping it. Okay. <laughs> I'm nervous. Because <laughs> I don't eat this kind of cheese. Like, it's a couple cheeses in here that I do not. Well, it's only one two cheeses in here so this might be what is this it's four cheeses in here i only see three maybe this is a cheese and i think it's a dip i don't know merlot we about to find out y'all okay where my cracker go i don't know if i'm supposed to it's all soft in the middle I'm really trying not to say the N word, but I'm acting like a typical one. <laughs> Cause y'all know we don't know what it is. We ain't eating it. It's soft too. Okay. I don't know if it's the bread I like or the cheese I like. I think I like the bread. <laughs> okay. Let me stop being a little P word. I ain't gonna say that word either. And get a big dog cracker. Well, actually, it's like a cracker. And that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. Might not be no cheese I reach for. <laughs> but that wasn't too bad. Olives, I ain't gonna lie. I really don't know why I don't like olives. I just was, I love olive oil. The last time I had an olive, I wasn't too fond of it. So. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Olives ain't gonna be my cup of tea. Like ever. These pickles, though, I fucked with them. And of course, the grapes. I like these grapes. Ooh, them olives nasty, honey. Not saying I'm gonna take that out. <laughs> not her, saying it was her, but like I said, I should have told her not to give me no olives because I don't like olives. Me personally, I just don't. Unless they like baked onto a pizza, I'm not doing it. I tried. I like this. Oh. I like those. I think it's some trail mix in here. I just peeped that too in the little corner. <laughs> this cute little filler stuff. It's good. I want to try a little bit of everything before I go. I'm going to try this. Um. Hot pepper jam. See if I like that. Because I know I had dipped my finger in it. Don't judge me. To like taste it. To see if it was sweet or whatever. And it was kind of spicy. I'm trying to get rid of the peppers. But whatever. Mm. 
it's a little spicy but it's good it's good what else i'm gonna try these cheeses okay i will take my jacket off but i wash my hands already and i'm about to leave right back out i get real comfortable with this honey this is for tonight come home with a bottle of wine so i don't know what kind of cheese this is there are four different cheeses in here but i only see three one, two, three. Oh no, it's not. It's four. It's four. It's four. It's four. I think that spread is cheese, and I'm just not peeping it. So I don't think you're supposed to eat that part. So I'm gonna take a piece of this. <laughs> I am so nervous, <laughs> but this is cool because I'm expanding my palate. This is another reason, like I said, I like this. So. That wasn't bad. That was good. I like that. Okay. That was good. Okay. 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 I'll take that. And then, what else? I think this is the sharp cheddar. It was. I really like this gel. I like this board. <laughs> what else do I need to try? I already have one of these. Those are crystallized almonds. I'm going to say those. I think this is so cute. She gave me two little peach rings. <laughs> Some of these little apricots. I'm going to say those. I don't know what those taste like. Um, I've never had a macaroon. Oh, this is actually good. Mm. That was good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> she like have us like her a customer because this looking like some um every couple of weeks sell yourself some love. <laughs> it's well worth $80. I will say that. What else did I need to try? Okay. Now I'm trying to put the cracker back. I've always heard that. These type of peppers are like sweet peppers. So, there's no way I can just straight up eat this. So, I'm going to try to eat it with some of this spread. Y'all. Mm -mm. Okay. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. She gave me some chocolates too. I'm trying not to eat them because I can tell they salted caramel. <laughs> I'm trying to hold them. Let me get this taste off my tongue with this little orange. Mm. And that orange is sweet and juicy. Y'all. I will give this a 10 out of 10. It over delivered. This is nice. Like this is quality. I feel like I definitely got my $85 worth. I like this. There were some things in there that I did not like. And that was my fault. And I prefer a more sweet board over a savory one. Strawberries and blueberries. You know. Apple slices. You know, something like that. But again, I didn't make that clear to her. This is my first time having this. So I'm definitely going to let her know next time. Like, hey, is there any way I can, you know switch out some things or make some choices but i like this i definitely do you could definitely curl up with a bottle of wine a movie in your boo and get y'all grown and sexy y'all okay okay i gotta go y'all excuse me and i still want to show y'all the tea that i'm gonna start drinking so hold on Okay, y'all, so before I get ready to go, don't ask me why my vacuum in the kitchen. But before I get ready to go, I'm going to take some of my tea with me. If y'all can't tell, if you know me, you can. Look at that. Do y'all see not that? It's not a big old gut, but for me it is. Uh, I'm used to my stomach like this, okay? This is not good for me right now. So it's showing up in my face too. Like, look at that. Mm -mm. So 
I'm trying to drink more water and teas versus juice at all. I know I'm really a Simply fanatic, but Simply has sugar. That simple. And I need to eliminate as much of that type of stuff as possible. So I got me a thermos. It's clean. <laughs> I just ain't use it in a while. I have to double check. Yeah, I'm good. I got me a thermos. I'm going to put my tea in here. I'm going to show y'all. This is the tea I got. The ice passion tea. It has hibiscus, orange peel, rose hips, and passion fruit flavors. I love this tea hot. So, of course, the Tazo brand of this, the warm kind, I drink all the time. And I rarely need to put any sugar or honey in it because it has a natural sweet taste. So, I figured the cold blend would have a natural sweet taste and I wouldn't have to put any honey or sugar in it either. Boil a half a pitcher, and I was so happy I had the perfect size pitcher. You have to boil a half a pitcher. Oh, shoot. Boil a half a pitcher of water and then pour it over the tea bag in the pitcher. It did not melt. I ain't gonna lie, I thought it was gonna melt. <laughs> and then you pour the water over the tea bag while it's in the pitcher to get it to start. And it's one big old tea bag. You just need one per pitcher. If you got like a bigger pitcher, of course, you like two or three or whatever your situation is. Did that, and then you fill up the other half of it with cold water, and then you let it put it in the refrigerator. You let it sit, and I'm actually gonna taste some first. Um, this look real potent, <laughs> okay? And I've only had the hot version of this, so I just want to see that cold version hitting on. This look like Kool Aid too. So if you really just one of them people that need something that look like something else or feel like something else, like how they got that ice water that feel like pop, <laughs> this is a good one for you. Mm. I like that. It got enough flavor to it, and I don't have to add any sugar or anything to it. Feel this bad boy yet? I drink on this in my half a gallon of Fiji for the day. Bam. That's a half a gallon. <laughs> Y'all, I told y'all I have been dehydrated. I'm actually ashamed. The food that I've eaten, the juices that I've been drinking, and then just the lack of water. Like, I drink water every day, but nowhere near as much as I should have been or usually do or need to. So, as far as I'm concerned, tea is water. The ingredients are hibiscus flowers, natural tropical flavors, citric acid, licorice root, orange peel, cinnamon, rose hips, lemongrass, and fruit juice extract for color. There are literally no, I was just about to say that. I'm glad I looked on here because I'm like, it don't say nothing about calories, sugars, carb, or nothing, but it says, based on herbal tea brew with freshly boiled water for five minutes, no milk, no sugar, an eight ounce fluid ounce, an eight fluid ounce cup, typically contains insignificant amounts of calories, fats, carbohydrates, sugar, protein, and sodium. So to me, this water, it's flavored water. <laughs> it just ain't got a bunch of dyes or bullshit or sugar in it that we're used to. And I feel like this is a good supplement. So I'm definitely on that. Hey, Buse, I just had a little idea. I just thought of something. So whatever I do on Monday, I'll post it on Tuesday. Whatever I do on Wednesday and Thursday, I'll post it on Friday. Whatever I do on Friday and Saturday, I'll post it on Sunday. Like, so I'll give y'all more videos. And also that makes the weekly vlogs a lot smaller. I like to be in detail and I like to talk to y'all and I like to show y'all stuff, you know, whoop de whoop. So I think it'll be easier and more engaging if I give y'all shorter vlogs more frequently instead of one big old vlog once a week. I'm trying to get more content out for y'all. <laughs> I am going to end this vlog here. So, yeah. I'm about to get the rest of my night started. And I hope y'all like the new idea. Uh, shorter vlogs more frequently because that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> okay. So, I will post this and see y'all tomorrow. I'll post the vlog tomorrow too. Well, I'll post this vlog tomorrow and I'm gonna post another vlog for y'all. So we're gonna get it together. Y'all gonna see, y'all gonna see, but 